Okay, so this is another CRP5 video. Um, in this one, I'll be teaching you how to calculate your drift and ground speed, um, provided that you have your true track, your TAS, and your wind direction and velocity. So, in this question, we've got a true track of 048, a TAS of 210 knots, and the wind is 350 at 30 knots. So, the first thing we want to do. We'll see our TAS is 210, which fits on the low speed side of our CRP5 slider. So we'll insert that into our CRP5. And we'll then set up our wind. So we go to 350 on the heading, slide it down to our wind line at the bottom so it sits on zero, and mark on 30 knots, which is there. The next thing we want to do is go up to our 210 TAS, which is there, as you can see, and simply put our true track under the heading marker, which is there. And then all you have to do is go along to where our uh, Mark sits there, which you, as you can see is 8 degrees right, so we know that our drift is 8 degrees right and that our ground speed is 196 because as you can see, if you follow 190, 192, 194, 196 and then follow that line across to where our mark is, that's 196 and that is it